All right, I'll quickly show you a couple games. <laughs> Hopefully with my like super OP deck. Golden data form server. Come on, server. Why you gotta be stuck on the ninety percent? Oh yeah, there's also daily login crap. Hey, I got a new free card pack. I usually forget to log in. But yeah, if you... So you get coins for logging in. This is like a PvP currency kind of thing. But these are for like... These are like your premium currency. But you cannot buy premium currency, you can only earn it. And then you get, yeah, every fifth day you get a booster pack as well, so that's cool. Why do I do I do open it again? Collection, right? Ah. Open that shit up. Reverse hollow love disc. I'm a neck trick. What is this? V card memes. Okay. Alright, so where's my OP deck that I made? What I... <laughs> Is this it? Yeah, I called it water memes. Yeah, this is the deck. This is a crazy deck. <laughs> this is such a stupid deck I made. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's like not tournament legal at all. Oh, here we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here we go. Here we see the rules. So like... It only is qualified under the unlimited rules set, aka like the... You know, you can use any combo you want. It's not under legacy, expanded, standard, or theme deck. So not suitable for all these rule sets, only this. So yeah, that makes sense. But yeah, I can like only use it in test deck or PvP, I guess, under the real rule sets, but So we start. Um So here's the the rules with Pokemon. Firstly, you do have to have a basic Pokemon. Uh which are only like Pokemon that are not evolutions you can put on. So if a Pokemon is an evolution, you have to evolve it. You can't just place it. Uh, that makes legendary Pokemon pretty useful and other stuff because, you know, they, they're they a basic Pokemon, but they're pretty powerful usually. And here we can see that they have two attacks, Spring Tides and Ocean Cyclone. And they have text below it. And they also have these energy icons, which means how much energy they need. So... The first attack, you see one blue energy, or water energy, and one colorless. Colorless, colorless means any energy will suffice, so I need to give it at least one blue and one any other. 
And for the second attack, at least three and one of any other to do that attack. Um, so I'm going to put, uh, I'm going to put my Kyogre on the field. That's my main Pokemon in play. And then here's the bench and in the bench, you can have other Pokemon. Now, <clears throat> here's the thing <clears throat> you lose. If you either uh, get, uh, I think it was six Pokemon knocked out. If six of your Pokemon die, you lose. Or if you run out of Pokemon on the field and on the bench. So it's important to have extra Pokemon on the bench. Because if this gets knocked out, I'm going to have to replace it with someone on the bench. I can't just pull a card out of my hand at that point. So that's done. I'm going to keep the other Feebus in my hand. Because I don't see the use of having multiple so i already pull another kyogre that's funny um let's see what this trainer card does upper right corner on the card uh that's the health and health goes in uh numbers of 10 so you can only do you know 10 20 30 40 damage plus so per 10, there's never like 11 or 12 or 1, 2, 3. It's always in 10s. Why not spam the bench? Because um, you might get certain cards later that, uh, that like your bench can fill up, right? There's only five bench slots. There are special cards that can expand your bench slots or reduce them. But basically, I don't want to spam the bench because I, I, maybe there's going to be certain Pokemon I want to play over others and the bench will be full and then I won't be able to play certain cards. So if I if I put all these in the bench and then later get like a Pokemon that's useful, then yeah, I'll fuck myself over by having a full bench. So it's not good to always have a full one. So there's trainer cards in the game which you have one good variety is the supporter card you can only have one supporter card you can use per turn trainer regular trainer cards you can use as many as you want per turn that uh, though which can be broken sometimes so let's see uh yeah you can only play one supporter card so this card energy card from your hand and energy card from your hand, then draw four cards Right, so this is pretty useful for if I have a lot of energy. Um, I could pretty much use this one, yeah. Why not? Actually, I cannot use the supporter card in the first turn. I forgot that, so I'll save that for next. We also have another Kyogre. Um, we can put one energy on our Kyogre. You can only put one energy on the card per turn, so we cannot attack yet. They can also not attack yet. They need, need two energy for their attack. So I'm going to have to end my turn for now. They're gonna give their Pokemon an energy. So now we grab another. Now I can use the supporter card because one turn has passed. You cannot use them on first turn. So I will discard one energy, draw four more cards, which is super fucking useful. Camping gear. Search your deck for a card, put it onto your hand, and shuffle. I could just grab any card with it. This is super OP, actually. Uh, put up to. Four in any combination of water Pokemon and water energy card from your discard pile into your hand. So that's very useful. I can, uh, if tanks are discarded, I can get them back. I have a seal as well. Um, considering I have a Feebas, I could go for a very good Milotic. So I will use the, this camping gear, I think. Let's see if I have a Milotic somewhere. Which is an evolution of the Feebus I have down the field. Yeah, tra trainer cards can be pretty uh, OP sometimes. And that in that case, it's a bit like Yu-Gi-Oh. Um, uh, yeah, this one is the Bright Heel. 
that's one super OP. Um, search your deck for any two cards, put them in your hand. I want to go the one that can heal. Oh, it does end my turn. Actually, that was... Yeah, actually, that was the cost. Crap, I fucked that up, actually. Because I didn't give my Kyogre a second energy. My turn ends when I use this card. I didn't read that properly. Alright, that's fine. What's this? Uh, prevents all effects of attacks from your opponents. Okay, so that's good. But I don't know if I want to focus on this Kyogre now. Because this Milotic is super good. Anyway, I can evolve my Phoebus. Which is super nice. And what I'm going to basically do is kind of sacrifice my Kyogre. To set up my, uh, my Lotic. I also have a seal. I guess I could put up the seal in case I pull a dugong. They're gonna attack me, but they have a, a, a move that requires you to flip a coin. Mm, discard pile memes, don't need that. How much cost retreat? Oh yeah, that I do as well. If I want to retreat my Kyogre, it will cost me 4 energy, so I cannot just take this off the field. That do does cost a lot to switch my cards. So at the moment, not much I can do, but I have enough energy to set up my, uh, my low tech. Oh crap. So they just use the card that requires me to reshuffle my hand. That's not 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 poggies. <clears throat> Put up to two Pokemon from your discard pile into your hand. Put up to two base energy from your discard pile to your hand. No, 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 it gets rid of the 4 energy, if I want to retreat it. I cannot retreat it. I have to give it 4 energy, and if I want to retreat it, it loses 4 energy. All gets discarded, and then the Pokemon gets back to the bench. If he gets killed, the opponent gets one of uh, 6 prize cards. These are 6 cards from their deck, and when they get all 6 of them, they win. Or, th sorry, these are my prize cards, these are theirs. So, yeah. You have to, like, exhaust the six prize cards. So now at least I have my Milotic set up. Uh, a horsey. I have another Milotic. I can use a dive ball. I can take any water Pokemon from my deck with this. Just just so you know as well, the deck I'm currently using, like, does not, is not allowed in any, like, leagues. Because it's like, it doesn't obey about any rules. It's only, like, allowed in battles that have, like, no specific rules. Uh, wait, what do I have? I have a seal and a dugong and a milotic. I guess I could, uh, no, no, I didn't want that. Oh, that is also a very good one. I could get another Phoebus. Or the other Milotic. Sure. Alright, so... Because I had another Milotic, I'm gonna put another Phoebus on the field. I cannot evolve it, I have to wait a turn before I can evolve it. I have a supporter that I can use, but these are... I can get cards from my discard pile. I don't have that many cards in my discard pile yet, so it's not worth using that. Uh, now, I do have an ability with this Milotic, that's what makes it super uh, OP, in my opinion. Uh... 
I can heal every turn 20 damage with this Pokemon on my entire field. So that already, like, I don't even need to, like, necessarily sacrifice this Kyogre if I can stall long enough, I guess. Oh, hey, another Milot. <laughs> this is how broken my deck is. Um... This one does 60 damage. Oh, this one puts enemies to sleep. Let's fucking do this one. Yeah, if they have an ability. Abilities are pretty rare, though. There's a lot, a lot of fancy abilities, but in general, I haven't seen them be that often. Oh, they're using a thing that discards something. Oh, never mind. They have bad coin tosses. Evo Soda. Search uh, your deck for a card that evolves from one of your Pokemon and put it onto that Pokemon. I could get a Seedra. Sure. Seedra that uh, King Dry have is super good. I still I'm I'm like pretty fucked because I don't have a lot of energy now, so I can't really do much. I need more energy to actually use my Kyogre. That is like a a, a, a thing in Pokemon though. Like if you're pretty fucked with not getting any energy, then there's not much you can do. You have to kind of wait it out. You're gonna have to wait. But I have a lot of cards that should provide me energy, but I'm having a bit of bad luck right now. Well, I have my, my low tick set up, so I'm still in a good position here. Oh, here we go, a King Draw. That's fucking epic. This one has very good attack. I'll just heal. Yeah. So I'm a little bit energy screwed right now. <laughs> and of course, if you run out of deck, then you lose. So that's also something you want to watch out for. I'm getting my ass kicked now. But I'm not going to give up easily. I'm going to try to play it realistically and stall. If I could just get one, ooh, a Magikarp, that's actually good if I could get a Gyarados on. But again, I need more frickin' energy. <laughs> no. Or I could waste this card and get one energy for my discard pile, I guess, to at least give my Seedra the energy it needs for the Aqua Burst. Because I kind of want to maybe keep this on the side. Yeah, it does more damage for every energy attached, though, so... Uh, fuck. This sucks for me. I'll be better off using this though when if my Kyogre dies because at least I get an extra energy from it. Jesus Christ, the bad luck! <laughs> oh crap. Oh crap, they're getting so many ads! What is this? Uh, oh, that's the ability I got. Okay. Uh, I kind of want to get my Seedra because this Seedra is very powerful. It does 40 damage for each water energy attached to this Pokemon. So I can make this super powerful. Oh, here we go.
Alright, I can attack. I will do 80 damage. So here's... I can finally look at weaknesses and resistances. This dude actually has a weakness to water times 2. You can see on the bottom left. Uh, it's very small, but weakness times 2. <clears throat> I have resistance times 2 against electricity. Or sorry, weakness times 2 against electricity. No resistance. But that means uh, 80, we do 160 damage. And I get one prize card for knocking out one of them. And if I get all six prize cards, I win. <laughs> they making plays. Search your deck for a supporter card and a basic energy card. Yes, that's what I need. Uh, three basic energy cards. Yes. Discard pile. I'll get the, uh, this dude. See, these I, I all have purposefully. This is exactly the kind of card I need. So I got this. So I could get this card. So I could get more energy next turn so like this fixes my energy crisis right now that's why i got these cards just to get easy energy and i can make this plot more powerful uh i already have a medricarp on the field i don't really need more at the moment i have another milotic when you play this pokemon from your hand to evolve on your pokemon you might put a card from your discard pile into your hand. Oh, actually, I might evolve that. Why not? Next turn, I can get more energy that way. Um, so now we're getting even more powerful. <laughs> we had to wait a moment, but now we've set up very powerful. Because this Milotic can heal me, which is super useful as well. We do have a weakness against electricity, so it's very smart they're using electric. See, that fucks me up hard. <clears throat> uh, max hand size? As far as I know, unlimited. As long as your deck doesn't empty out. Oh, we get a Gyarados, by the way. We definitely want to heal. This Gyarados is very similar. Aqua Tail. It does 30 more damage for every water energy it gets. Um, I want to evolve this to get to activate the ability. That lets me take anything from my discard pile. Uh, I probably need more energy, honestly. Starved for that. Uh, yeah, and I can use this. That's what the card I got earlier to get, you know, three energy now. So I'm, now I'm good. <clears throat> um, oh, and I can evolve my Magikarp as well. Which my Magikarp, it needs four energy to do, to do the damage, but... Hopefully we can set that up. Anyway, we can attack with this. Mantine. Ah, oh, shit. No! Not again! Ah, bastard. All my energy is fucked now. Shit. <laughs> All right, all right, hold on. Search your deck for up to two energy cards. See, see, I got more of these cards. Get fucked. See, see. I was prepared for energy crisis, and I'm finally pulling the right card. Now is the question. Do I want to give them on my Gyarados? Because this one's almost dead. I might be better off giving them to Gyarados. How many do I have on my discard pile? None. Okay, these as well give me energy for my discard pile. Gotta heal. Wow, 
absolutely wrecking now. Thankfully they didn't luck out again. Alright, if I knock out one more of their Pokemon I win. Because I'm that last down to my last prize card. Yeah, that's a GG. Oh, my bad, I didn't read that yet. Is there a limit to how many Pokemon on your bench you can activate abilities for? Uh, I have no idea. I have not had multiple Pokemon with abilities. I'm gonna guess there's probably no limit, I think, but as I said, like, Pokemon with abilities are usually pretty rare. And you probably need to set them up as well some way. But all abilities, like some abilities are passive, some are more active, like... They're randomly picked. I guess these have abilities. <laughs> As in... If you have to rely on a very crucial card in your deck, then yeah, you have a chance that it may be in your prize cards and you will not pull it up until the very end. But then again, if you have to rely on a very specific card, you probably don't have a very good deck. Because it's like six prize cards. And every time you take out a Pokemon, you pull one. So only the last prize card you pull when you win is the one you don't get to use, I guess. But if I were to use like a more legit, like that was basically my OP deck that I can't really use anywhere but with preset decks where it's more balanced I have like a bunch of decks here um, to fight these trainers because it tells me with which decks I've beaten these trainers with or not I don't remember Oh wait, in gold I've beaten them. Hold on, I see now. Right. Yeah, I mean, if it takes six evolution Pokemon, that's very unlikely, but, I, you know, it, it is possible. Um, let's do, uh... I've got a bunch of decks here I could use. Koopa deck. 
Oh, let's use my electric current deck. These are decks that are pre-made, so they're like more balanced. So like you you beat like you go through a list of tra trainers you beat. All right, so we're only get a Kangas can. That's not good. Spear, okay, good. I have to set this one up. But yeah, with card games, you can definitely get screwed up by bad RNG, by bad luck sometimes, that's that's for sure. So this has a very nice uh, Ampharos, I believe, and uh, also a very nice... Uh, a very nice uh, Zapdos in the deck. You can start with that one, and then basically you need to redraw your hand. Alright, I can start attacking. That was a weak-ass Pokemon they got. Alright, they got a coin flip, and they can do more damage with that. Ooh, double colorless. Provides two energy. That's very useful, because now I can use Mega Punch. This is actually a pretty good start. <laughs> Jesus, okay. Um, guess I'll put my Radata on that. Flip a coin if heads discard an energy attached to your opponent's active po Oh, that's mean. I actually would want to take that, yes. Oh, we got shuffle your hand into your deck and draw five cards, okay. Oh, I actually cannot one-shot this one. It's got 110 health. A Pikachu! Oh yeah, it was a Raichu. A very powerful Raichu I have in my deck here. I kind of would want that Raichu, but I currently don't have it. Oh, wow. They had no more Pokemon in the bench. <laughs> that was very quick, holy shit. <clears throat> but yeah, you're right, that, that was... An easy win for me. Mostly, it was not really because of the prize cards. Mostly because that Kangaskhan, I instantly got a double colorless energy as well. That was pretty powerful uh, basic Pokemon. What do these icons mean? Oops. Oh. Ah, uh, that's the card unlocks thingies. Ah, uh, I see now, I have to look here. Right, we'll speak her then. I'll try another match. Magnemite. I both got electric or oh, Kangaskhan again, nice. 
get the top two cards of your deck, put one of them in your hand, discard the other. Ooh. Sure. Volt Orb and... Yeah, I want that one. Discard two cards from her, and if you can't, disc... See, like, this one, I actually need to, like, sacrifice stuff. Discard two cards from her, and if you can't discard two cards, you can't play this card. Search your deck for Pokemon, reveal it. That uh, Jolteon I don't like. I also don't like that one. Also, this like see these have attacks that are pretty shitty because you have to discard an energy actually when you use the attack. That's pretty bad. I don't like that one bit. <laughs> At least we got that. Two basic mons. Zapdos. Zapdos is great. So what Zapdos has an attack, it does 40 damage. Uh, it, it has to do 40 damage to one of my own Pokemon, sadly. I can see Raichu is in my deck at least. Do I have a Pikachu in play? I didn't. Okay, let's grab a Pikachu then. Zapdos in play. Pikachu in play. Oh, I can evolve my Magnemite, by the way. But I don't have any freaking... I don't want to use that Magneton, honestly. I kind of want to waste this Magnemite. <laughs> that would be awesome if I could get Raichu. I could actually get Raichu. Discard two of my hand. I could discard the Magneton and the Potion. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna discard these two. How many copies of the same card? There is a limit. I don't know how many. It's probably like three or four, yeah. Exception, of course, energy cards. This one is great. This this second this first attack, this card does 20 damage times the number of benched Pokemon. That's great. Not to mention this deck also has a, a trainer card that enlarges the bench. <laughs> for some uh for some freaking synergy crap. That's not good. Dead. Alright, Kangas con you up. A double colorless. Ooh, that's tempting. Seventy health, yeah, I I I need to actually. I was hoping I could use my right shoe there, but we'll use Kangaskhan again, I guess. I don't know why the AI has not put any energy on their other cards though, but I don't know I don't do that all the time either. Oh my god, I'm getting like evolutions and shit. Not good. Alright. 
to be fair, I'm already doing good with this Kangaskhan. But I'd love I love the Raichu and Zapdos in this deck. But how the battle when I wasn't able to really use them. Oh hey, another Kangaskhan. Now the AI is either having bad luck or not playing smart. <laughs> Radata. Alright, my Raichu is set up. Even if they kill my Kangaskhan, I could use my Raichu to wreck as well. But it seems like I'm already wrecking them very hard. That's useful to have when that's your only card. That's terrible. They have three freaking. They have to get, give this Pokemon three energy for an attack of 30. Jeez. I could even flex here. Yeah, the AI, I mean, I'm not going to say that the AI has never given me trouble. Sometimes they can be very trouble. Let's try my Hoopa deck. Sometimes the AI has given me a very hard time to win. Oh shit, yeah, these are a lot of shitty mons. Oof. I can't even attack with this card. <laughs> oh, that one's actually a bit more useful. No, that's fine. Or the Halucha is also nice. Can evolve that one at least. Oh, I also have a weakness times two against dark, so that's not good. Um, <clears throat> they're not gonna attack me because they need to put three energy on, so I'm just gonna. So this is interesting, a, a bit, like the attack acts almost like an ability, but it's like search your deck for up to two cards and discard them. So this is probably has some synergy with like getting cards back from the discard pile, but I'm not going to use that at the moment. Oh, they evolved their cards. See, now they're getting the upper hand actually. That's pretty bad for me now. 
Oh, I did not expect them to be able to attack, but there we go. Holucha. Shit. See, now I have to make a tough choice. Do I put my energy on this one or this one? Because I wanted to evolve this, but... Also, your opponent switches his or her active Pokemon with one of their benched. Fuck. That's also annoying. Alright, if that's the case, they're probably going to attack me and make me switch, so that makes me laugh. I'm going to have to do that. Because then that's going to be on the thing. See, that's what their attack does. It makes me switch. But that makes me do this. And this. I was prepared for that. Uh, each player draws or discards. Hands. Yeah, I'm going to do the attack. Because that makes them the Pokemon sleep. Oh, crap. They have resistance. Shit. Oh, this is not good. <laughs> Fuck. Oh, uh, now I'm getting fucked. Fuck, this is not good. Now I'm getting absolutely fucked here. I did not account for their resistance. Ah, uh, Joltik. Fuck, fuck, fuck. That's terrible for me. <laughs> I could use the mirror move thing. Oh god. Alright, we're gonna use that. Because we're gonna die with that anyway. Oh wait, Ninja Boy. Oh, I can get my Hoopa on the field. <gasps> yes. Wait, any attached card damage will turn turns in play. Remains. Yes, this is actually good. I can get my Hoopa. Yes, Hoopa. Energy retrieval. I mean, I can get at least one energy because I'm starved for energy. Give that to my Hoopa. And now we're going to use Mirror Mirror. I mean, Hoopa is my only chance now, fuck. <laughs> uh, Evo Soda. I could, but I don't have any energy. Let's heal Hoopa, firstly. Alright, we can only use Hyperspace Punch. This attack does 20 damage to two of your opponent's Pokemon. Which I can choose any. But they got resistance. This one's got resistance. Oh, this is so fucked. I'm so gonna fucking lose. That resistance against Psychic is nuts. If I can have one more energy, I could at least get rid of this fucker. <clears throat> Ouch. Ah oh, no! He takes away my energy as well! Oh no! I'm so fucked here. I'm so fucking fucked. <laughs> Fuck me. 
Yeah, so it's like, now, now I'm getting my ass kicked. Holy fucking shit. Uh... Oh, jeez. That'll still take me so many turns. Oh, no. This is terrible. So now I... Oh, God. Oh, I need electric for that. I can only do this again. Oh my god. I'm still fucked. <laughs> I take two of their Pikachus down though. So I can choose two prize cards. Ultra Ball. I mean, I'm just fucked with my fucking energy now. The whole time. I'm so fucked. Oh, they increased the bench size. No! Fuck! Ugh. Okay, okay. Ah, oh, confusion, that's good. Eight damage. Ah, oh, that's not even enough. I could... Jesus Christ. You could get rid of Ambipalm and... And Lampant, I guess. Sorry, not Drifloom. Lampant. Ah, oh, crap. Ah, uh, this is bad. <sighs> Guess I'll take a Mareep. But I, I'm not getting any energy to set anything up. Fuck my life. I'm starved of energy this game. Hope for confusion memes, but there's no way. Uh. I'm dead. To be fair, like, my deck is part Psychic, and that's, like, weak against Dark. It's a very hard combination there. Try again. I should have, like, known it about the weakness. Uh... Yeah, there is PvP. I don't play that though, because I will probably suck massively. There are like tournaments and you get rewards for how far you get. I can show that. Ah, here we go. Energy.
I just play this for fun, like very casually, but yeah, I know there's like a big PvP crowd out there. Uh, I, if only I could have had this. The whole battle, the whole last game, if I could have had that, what, what do I have? Uh, psychic or electric. I mean, I have Ampharos, but... Fuck it, I'll take two Psychic. I am expecting to get a Hoopa more likely. Than uh, a Fluffy and a Mareep. Alright, we can attack, let's go. Yeah, we can fuck around with confusion later. Nice. Extra damage. Uh, <laughs> and now I win because they had no more Pokemon in the bench, apparently. GG. Wow, I didn't even notice. Jesus Christ. Let's see. So there's these ticket currency. I don't use them. Event tickets, 14. Wait, can I? I don't think I'm allowed to use this, right? No, wait, that's a whole other deck. Yeah, that was a test deck of mine. So, you can make your own decks for PvP, but they have to abide by certain rules. And I'm really bad at that. Well, I'm, I'd need more time, but like, I don't think I actually made it. I think these were pre-made decks actually which you can also do but basically uh yeah you have the whole rewards memes here so you get like a reward for winning oh like here for how many wins you get one win two win three if ever win you get a new reward uh, and then booster packs and other crap. And there's win. Well, I have a win streak of four. Oh, that's win streaks. Oh. How have I had a win streak of four? Have I? I don't believe I have ever played PvP. As far as I know. Like, all these cards do not seem familiar to me. So, I don't know if I've ever played PvP. But yeah, there's like a lot of incentive. Oh, here we go. You can also play with theme decks. Expanded decks. Okay, so expanded, standard, and legacy decks. Oh, maybe I've played with some of these theme decks. That's possible. That's the ones I uh, bought. But that must have been a long time ago, but yeah. But there's something as well with this with... Oh, maybe it's events. Is it events? Ah, here we go. So there's special events here as well, besides PvP, which are like special tournaments, apparently. And to enter, you do need to spend this currency, which you get from logging in and as rewards. I never used them, but you again get like rewards and shit here, lots of booster packs and other crap. I've, I've not played this at all, but yeah, I just do the trainer challenge. So the trainer challenge is basically with the decks, the theme decks you own. Uh, which 
you have like if you win seven games you unlock more cards for the deck and then here you have three leagues against the uh, ai so gold league i've beaten everyone and if you beat them four times you get a card pack so the goal is to beat every enemy four times with four different decks and get like enough wins so 12 wins in gold league 12 in platinum and 12 in city championship which are different difficulties i've uh, beaten all gold uh this is the newest deck i got so i probably got less wins in this now i got quite some eight out of 12. Uh, I've, I've definitely been busy and then you you know you get more coins and you can buy more theme decks so The theme decks are here, yeah. But there's like a lot of decks, like a whole fucking lot of decks. Like this is all the decks you can buy. And again, you cannot buy this currency. You cannot buy with real money. Impossible. So you can only earn this. The only way to actively get more cards by spending money is buying real cards that have codes in them as well. And then the co basically uh, you get every real card pack you buy also has an extra virtual card pack, but they're gonna be like they're gonna be uh, different cards, but it's gonna be of the same same set, I believe. But just to show you how many cards I have. From just having played, like, well, I have bought some real life cards in the past, but not just for this game. Yeah, like, like, you cannot, there are no microtransactions in the game. So if you really want to throw money at it, the only option is to buy real card packs. And then you will just have to, like, put in the code uh, that's like, redeem somewhere or was it here yeah you get like an extra card and you can scan that with the qr reader or manually insert the code here submit it and then you can claim and then you get like virtual booster packs that you open in the game but yeah the collection thingies is nice so you get like daily login rewards as you saw every fifth day you get a booster pack as well and you get coins. And yeah. You expand uh, your collection. So like all the Pokemon cards I have. Like I've. Let's see. Oh here it says how many there are. There's a lot trade locked as well. But yeah I got a lot. But if I have multiple copies of them. It says at the bottom as well. Wow, like I have a fuck ton of cards now. And I've. I, I, I enjoyed collecting real cards. Um, when I had the itch to just open some packs, I guess. But it, it became very expensive. And... I actually bought, like, Japanese cards. Because those were a lot cheaper. I actually have a very pretty Lugia right next to me. Because I have so many cards. And a lot of these are doubles as well. This is crazy. But if you're into PvP, there, I'm sure you can build some cool decks as well. Um, but, you know, maybe one day I'll get good enough to actually go do some more PvP. I don't know. Maybe there's just children playing PvP. I don't fucking know. But, uh... Yeah, as you can see, the list goes on and on of, of stuff I have. I have a lot of real-life Pokemon cards as well. A whole ton. Jesus Christ, it doesn't add how many cards I have. There we go. I have a Zygarde. Now, look here, I have a Japanese Lugia. It's like very fancy. I have it like encased in like a 
It was like a very rainbow colored Lugia, but this is a Japanese card. It's like a, a pretty rare one, because it's like... Uh, with Pokemon cards, you have different tiers. Like, yeah, let's talk about rarities. Uh, can I filter by rarities? <laughs> that would make it easier. Ah, yeah, here we go. So your common cards are circles. They're the basic commons. Then you got uncommons, which are the... Uh, emerald thingies. Squares. And then you got rares, which are the stars. And they are often hollows as well. Though there's also something called reverse hollow. Wait, let's see if I can show the difference. Ah, this is a reverse hollow. So even, even commons can be reverse hollow, but basically everything except the image is like hollow, shiny. So reverse hollows can be like anything randomly, especially in uh, Japanese packs. They have a lot of reverse hollows. But yeah, any rarity can be a reverse hollow. So even commons. Um, but usually a lot of rares are actual hollows. There's another reverse hollow, another one, another one. Where are my regular hollows? Because I have a lot of regular hollows where it's just the image of the Pokemon. There's also like more fancy. Oh, ah, yeah, here we go. Here we have like a hollow Mewtwo where it's like the image is hollow. Uh, reverse hollow. Another reverse hollow. Uh, but you know, the hollowness doesn't affect the rarity. Uh, but it's nice always to have hollows in my opinion. I have a lot of real life hollows as well. I, I've shown my Pokemon collection a couple times on stream actually. So then you've got this, which is, a, oh, this rare hollow specific. I didn't know that. Oh, I didn't see that was hollow. I see the seed res hollow, but some of these, I don't see if they're really hollow, but. But there's like even more rare ones, right? There was like the... Yeah, okay, so they don't really specify it when you get like... Yeah, like this one. Like, this is also a rainbow card. So this rainbow card is the same tier as this Lugia rainbow card. They're like the rarest of the rare ones, the rainbow cards. So they, they're not really specified in this game as being a different rarity, but they are. So you've got like a non-rainbow, you've got like a special variety and a regular variety. There's like three varieties or something, but they're the same card effectively. They just have fancier uh, artwork and the rainbow cards are the rarest. And there's also promo cards as well, apparently. Which I have a couple of. Promo cards, basically, uh, you know, they come, like, with, well, with promo stuff. So, like, originally, like, in the first movie release, you'd get, like, a promo card. and Or the first couple movies, like, in theaters. Or, like, special packs that have, like, an extra promo card and whatnot. Well, like, if I if I go to, like, uh, let's say, Pokemon card rarities... All right, maybe this site will show me more. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but you, you know what the great thing is about cards? Even though I have never played Magic the Gathering, I'd still love to see it. Just because I love artwork on cards.
Okay, so here I found a website. So yeah, again, like, uh... Three main rarities. Which are common is the circle, uncommon is the square, rare is the star. Some of the more exclusive rare cards are known as ultra rare with a special star. Uh, with Japanese collections, rather than using simples, use bolded letters to denote the rarity example. C, U, R, and R, R. Each non-promotional card released in the expansion pack has a set rarity. This is a bit different with English and Japanese cards as well. Each English language booster pack is guaranteed to contain at least one rare card and generally three uncommon cards. The remainder will usually be common. Starting from the Legendary Collection, each booster pack is also guaranteed to contain one Reverse Hollow card, which is a card of any rarity with Hollow Foil printing on the background of the card. Yeah, that's what I said, that the Reverse Hollows can be any rarity. So, again, common cards, uncommon. And then regular rares or Hollow Foil rares. So rares can be either regular or hollow and then you got ultra rares yeah so ultra rares are typically marked as rare hollow foil cards but sometimes have unique symbols so they have like the fancy art so you can see like the regular the regular rares at max they will have a hollow image but they're pretty normal but then when you get like these fancy, like where they're like going, the art is like more than just a rectangle. That's when they're like uh, ultra rares. Then you got secret rares, which are, yeah, some of like the, uh, yeah, so like golden cards or rainbow cards, for example, or like other very special cards. <coughs> so ultra rares and secret rares that was the meme so if i were to just hello hang fire welcome so if i were to just check here again to just check the rares so these are all rares and then this is an ultra rare because you can see it like the art pops out of the whole card And then, you know, are just more rares. And then this is an ultra rare. Because it got special art. Another ultra rare here. This one's very shiny. And it's an EX card as well. Which... And then this is, yeah, this is the secret rare. Rainbow card, another ultra rare, another ultra rare. These are fancy. They're beautiful in real life. I have a bunch of them as well. Especially a lot of Japanese ones, but also a lot of just English ones. Oh, here's another ultra rare. Another ultra rare here. Here's another one. Another one. Another one. I just love all the artworks on all collectible cards. There's another ultra rare. Jesus. Oh, I have actually a real life. I have an ultra rare Toga Kiss as well. It's very beautiful. A Waylord EX ultra rare. Oh. This ultra rare I have in real life. <laughs> I have like three binders full of cards and still like a lot of others. And like a lot of commons that I have double. Uh, here's like a whole stack of Pokemon cards as well next to me with like 
Oh, these are energy cards, actually. These are my all, all kinds of energies. Um, and I got like a couple of hollow foil doubles, actually. So I have my Japanese, my Japanese Lugia. But I also have like two double hollows Japanese. So these I actually have double. One I have in my binder, and then I have these two as well, separate here. Because I did some a bunch of card openings some time ago, and you know, sometimes you even get like hollows to like rares double. Doesn't happen often, but. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Hold on. Like here, you can see of stuff I opened actually. Here I have like a bunch of like card packages from back from earlier. So like I have stacks of cards. These are just like it's hard to show. So here's a stack. Oh crap. These are Japanese cards. Uh these are just mostly the doubles I have. So like uh well, let me just take it out. So like a stack of this are all doubles that I have. And there's like a stack of this in all these boxes. I have like three of these so here i have a lot of doubles as well and here as well I have like a whole bunch of them because these boxes were like filled with booster packs but you know the real life cards i don't collect to play I collect them just to have them because I like the art and like collecting things, collecting habits. You know how, how <laughs> you know that feeling of like collector's mentality, right? I have the same thing in World of Tanks, collecting the tanks. And, uh, yeah, I have like three binders. I, I'd have to, yeah, they're like somewhere on the other side of my room. I'd have to like stand up and I don't want to do that, but yeah, or maybe I do. Crap, now, now I've got the urge to grab them. Fuck. Hold on. I don't know where my third binder is though. Maybe I didn't use it anymore. A little bit of dust off in one second. Where's my third binder? I don't know where my third binder is. I had like a big yellow binder. Let's see. This is my orange binder and my black binder. The black one, I think I have most of the classic cards. So I find like, let me just check. Yeah, this is the classic. So these are some of the OG cards, like some of these. Like, oh, hold on, let me just move my mic. So I got like a whole bunch of like OG cards here. And, and I'm like, if I go to the second page, like it's just full of hollows here, like a ton of hollows. These are all hollows, hollow rares. And then like, it goes on for like a lot of pages. So like, pages and pages of, even a lot of promo cards as well. Yeah, I've got a lot of promos here. This whole page is, is, is promo cards for movies and stuff. And like, yeah, this whole binder is full. There's actually a lot of reverse hollows in here as well. Yeah, here I got some ultra rares down here. And some Japanese cards as well up there. One Japanese card. 
There I have a lot of common cards, classics. Some reverse hollows. Uh, these are not as aggressive. Yeah, it's mostly reverse hollows, commons, and uncommons. Um, oh, I have. Oh, here we go. One ultra rare and one secret rare rainbow over here. That's a trainer rainbow card, and then an uh, ultra rare Ampharos. Some more classic cards. So that's mostly like mostly my old, old cards and original rares. But then this one has my Japanese cards, I believe. Uh, yeah, here I have almost like complete sets. So these are actually categorized in order of the sets. So like for example, here I'm just missing one card of this set. Or two, because like, like these are in order of the set. With like some ultra rares, like here I have a bunch of ultra rares as well. Down there. Like, these are all Japanese cards from a set. Here I have another like ultra rare and another ultra rare there. Yeah, I have another ultra rare. <laughs> and yeah, here I'm missing a couple cards again. So it's like only like two, three cards I'm missing for this set. Here I'm missing one card again and one ultra rare. And yeah, here are a whole bunch of other cards. Just a lot of rares as well, but I'm only really showing the ultras. There's an ultra rare uh, as well. <laughs> These are like two or three different sets. A Lugia ultra rare over there. Jesus. Yeah, I forgot how many cards I have, but yeah. But these are all Japanese in this uh, map. Another ultra rare over there. It's... Oh, there's a random freaking uh, card thingy in the map. Okay, I didn't notice I dropped that somewhere. Well, two more ultra rares at the bottom here. <laughs> And yeah. Wow, another one. <laughs> another one just flew out. I don't know why they're there, but okay. Two, two more ultra rares over here. And yeah, the rest is empty. <laughs> Got a couple more empty pages. Well, because they're cheap. Well, cheap. Let's just say, uh,. Scalping is rampant in Pokemon cards. Scalping is absolutely rampant. So, new cards, new booster boxes, they get scalped and sold for more. Even even the stores do it. Like all the stores, well, not the not the regular stores, but like the the Pokemon card stores, you know, third party. So not like Bart Smith or anything, but like the thing is, the bigger bulk you buy, the better they're worth, uh, the more bang for your buck you get. So like if you get like one box of like 40 booster packs or something, that'll be a lot cheaper per card than buying card packs alone, but they get scalped everywhere. So if you just buy them, you will be play, paying the big price, and I was just like, fuck, you know. I just wanted to, like, collect some more cards. And and I'm not, like, gonna collect all of them, because there's, there's decades of cards. There's so many Pokemon cards in existence. You'd have to be up... Yeah, you'd have to be a multi-millionaire, probably, to buy all of them, right? To complete every collection. 
Um, so there was a moment where I just bought a couple of uh, Japanese boxes because the store also sold them and they were a lot cheaper. Plus, Japanese booster packs have statistically mm, more rare cards than commons. Like, basically... Basically, if you're gonna open X amount of card packs, English ones, you're gonna have a way bigger stack of commons that are double than like with Japanese ones. With Japanese ones, you'll have a lot less like doubles. It's like a lot more compact, like easier to complete collections and you'll have like generally more hollow cards for ever for the money you spend. Yeah, exactly. Some cards as well, like... Some of my cards that I have are also very rare. But they're not worth much because they're not, like, sealed in, like, a very protective case and stuff and rated and stuff. Like, they'd have to be, like, absolutely perfect, right? But I have, like, uh, some first-generation cards and stuff as well. Like, I have, like, a Matchamp and, you know... But I, I like uh, plenty of cards in my collection are probably worth over 10 or 20 euros. Maybe even a couple that are 50 euros. But I don't have any cards that are like worth thousands. That's like, no. Nah. But yeah, I mean, if I'd, if I'd sell my complete collection of everything, I'd probably be able to get a, easily like a couple hundred for it. Maybe. For my whole collection. Maybe even a thousand, I don't know. But I don't think more than that for everything together. I don't know. But I'm not, you know, it's sentimental value for me. So I would Holy not cow. I would not wanna sell them or anything. Hey Slayer dude. I was just showing my Pokemon collection. Both in real life and virtual. <coughs> um Including this Zarud I had in real life as well. Finally a mod. Yeah. And it's almost 4 p.m. And that means I'm gonna have to take my doggo out. And I'm gonna order pizza today. So you know what that means? I'm gonna play Warhammer Rights of War while eating pizza on stream, I think. That's what I want to do, probably. You have you live near a Taco Bell? Wh where do they have Taco Bell in the Netherlands? Oh, I love Yen Mega. That's such a cool Pokemon. They've got like two Taco Bells in the Netherlands, right? Tilburg, yeah, <laughs> far away. <laughs> now I want to know the exact location of Taco Bells. There's one in Tilburg, and there's another one I know Eindhoven or somewhere south as well. Because I've never been to Taco Bell. Uh... Taco Bell, Nederlands. Oh, need Nederlands, Nederlands. Where do we have Taco Bells? Wait, we have more than two Taco Bells in the whole country? There's no way. Look, it's all south. I live... I live in this area, right? I live close to Amsterdam. I live about... About here, northwest of of Amsterdam, because I don't want to dock. So, like somewhere, somewhere here, right? Somewhere in this vicinity, I live. Now look where all the Taco Bells are. 
There's a Taco Bell here. It's fuck, fuck. This is the closest Taco Bell to me. In fucking... What is the city? Uh, what, what the fuck is the city? Lowston? Yeah, there's none in, in Amsterdam. If there'd be one in Amsterdam, I'd have... This is like past Utrecht. <coughs> so there's one fucking here in... In fucking Lowston. Who the fuck has heard of Lowston? What the fuck is that? So that's one. That's the closest. We got one over here in fucking Schiedam. Who the fuck goes to Schiedam? And then look! Look how closely packed these three are! They're like in the same location, in Breda, Tilburg, and, what is this, Aust, Eindhoven, no Eindhoven, of course Eindhoven, Eindhoven, Tilburg, Breda, look how close these three Taco Bells are, what the fuck, why would you put these three so close, here another one, two here, but there's like nothing here. And nothing here, poor Groningen as well, has no Taco Bell. What the fuck? <laughs> oh, every, every Taco Bell in the Netherlands is in the southeast. Or southwest as well, I guess, a little bit. Like, just here in the south. Up north, we ain't getting shit. No fucking Taco Bell. <laughs> uh, near Arnhem. Uh, where's on them? I'm not that good in topography. Nijmegen. It's somewhere near Nijmegen, right? Oh. I, I don't know, chat. I'm not good at topography. Or is this on them? Bastards. Why does Eindhoven and Tilburg get everything? God fucking damn it. Taco Bell. Oh, so it is the one above Nijmegen. That's Arnhem. I can't, I don't see Arnhem anywhere, but. <laughs> Three Taco Bells in Bravo, dude. Yeah. I get zero. I'd have to get all the way here. Amersfoort, ah. It's Amersfoort. Why does it not say Amersfoort here? This is Lowston, and this is Amersfoort, but it doesn't say... I'm not gonna go to Amersfoort. Fucking hell. Fucking Amersfoort, that's past... Yeah, that's like Kilversum, Utrecht. Fucking near Utrecht. Know how fucking far Utrecht is? Although with train it's surprisingly quick because like whoosh. But it's still far. Like it takes me 30 minutes to get to Amsterdam. But you know what we have in Amsterdam though? You know what we have in Amsterdam? We got something probably even better than Taco Bell in Amsterdam. We got, we got, if I can find it, <laughs> not the red light district. I mean, we do have that, but that's not what I'm saying is better. Uh, I'm very bad at topography in Amsterdam because it's so confusing as shit, but I'm looking for uh, a specific thing. Hold on. Where's the train station that's here, right? Right, right, right. So if you have the train station, Amsterdam Central. Right. First of all, you got game over here. Here's secondhand games. Good shop. Here's where here's where I get my secondhand games physical. This is a good spot. Um, so then you keep going, you keep going, you keep going, you keep going. Then you get to the dam. All right. Then I believe you keep going, I think. Was it? Or did you go past? I think it was past here. Yeah, yeah, here. 
And then... I'm not sure if I'm correct on this chat. See, I get confused easily in fucking uh, Amsterdam. To be honest. I get confused super quickly. Damn. Oh, I go through here. Wait, here's where I go. Yeah, 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 yeah. Here. What is it? Yeah, 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 yeah. And then here's the tower. Yeah, yeah. And then here's the... Yes, found it. Here we go. This is what we got. The burger bar. Found it. See, so, yeah, I do know how to get there. But from the... Yeah, because it's to the tower. Go to the burger bar. Don't go to Burger King. Don't do that. Don't be a plap. Don't don't go to McDonald's either. Go to Burger Bar. All right. Go to Burger Bar. You know, there's also another one actually. Actually, if you go here, there should be another one as well. Yeah. See, there's a small one, but I don't go to the small one. There's also, you know what? There's also a third burger bar. You know that? That's actually at the red light district. Yeah, I know. If you go here, there should be one uh, burger bar as well at the red light district. Uh, yes, I know exactly where the red light district is. I know, right? Ooh. Um. But there should be a burger bar over here as well. There's three burger bars in Amsterdam, chat. Hold on, let's just... Burger bar... Burger Bar Amsterdam. Oh. Ah, here it is. Here it is. Here's the one in the red light district. Here's where I was last time. On Discord, if you go to Discord now and you check the food porn site. Site. Food porn channel. You look up and see me in the burger bar. That was here. I was at the red light district burger bar with my brother. So that's one. Yeah, here's the one other, the tiny one. But then the big one is uh, over here near the bell tower. Get to the burger bar. It's, it's so good. Good for Amsterdam. Look at these burgers. Look at these burgers, chat. Look, look at these. Mm. Look, look, look at these burgers. Look how good these burgers are, chat. Look, look at the burgers. Best, look at that. These are the best burgers. Oh, uh, that's someone mixed it with fries. That's, I don't know if you want to do that, but. Mm. Mm. Burger bar is good. It's the best burgers. Look, look at this. Look, let's go to the website. Not paid, by the way. Oh, look here, they got pictures as well. Oh my god, look at these burgers, chat. Look at these burgers. Look at these burgers! They're so good, chat. Look at this shit. You got so many different burgers. You can custom- look how much you can customize your burger. Create your own burger, right? What do you want? What kind of bread do you want? Do you want regular buns or sesame, Ita yeah, sesame Italian buns, brioche deluxe buns, right? Here's your meats, Irish burger meat, 200 gram or 270 gram, Angus burger meat, Wagyu burger meat or chicken or crispy chicken, right? You can have cheese, you can have cheddar, old Amsterdam, blue cheese, provolone cheese. I don't even fucking know what that is, but you can have it if you want it. And vegan cheddar cheese. Toppings. 
Here are your toppings. Grilled bacon, grilled onions, grilled mushrooms, don't take that. Avocado, fried egg, jalapenos, caramelized onions. Right? Sauce, mayonnaise, vegan mayo, ketchup, barbecue, garlic, satay, samurai, blue cheese, truffle. Side dishes, fries, take the fries. The fries are great, nice and thick and, and, and crunchy. Truffle and parmesan fries, onion rings, coleslaw, side salad with old Amsterdam cheese. Milkshakes, you got drinks, you got beers. Look at this shit, this is good. This is the best burger you have. Now I know it's pricey, right? Because you're gonna pay like 10 plus euros for burgers here, right? It's maybe even like for menus like 16, maybe even 20. They're expensive. But this is good quality meat chat. Good quality meat, right? You're looking at the meat, only 200 grams of meat, 7 euros. 270 grams of meat, 8.95. Angus, 9.95. 270, 12.50. Wagyu beef, that's the highest quality. 17.95 and 22.95. I know that's expensive as fuck if you take that. You don't have to, you know, the iris is good too. You know, or you can do the middle or the, you know, what, what you want. They're all good, right? But... This is quality meat. They don't fuck around. You're gonna be fucking full if you eat this. Alright? Trust me. You're gonna be full. If you have a burger like that with some fries, you're gonna you're gonna feel You're gonna feel the real reason why people come to the red light district. It's not because of you know the red lights and the district park. You know, not not the not the ladies behind the, the windows. No, no, no. This is the real reason why people visit the red light district, why people visit Amsterdam. All right. They should hire me to be a spokesperson. <clears throat> well, yeah. Yeah, like for for real, like you get to customize your whole burger. It's so good. Yeah, I gotta take my dog for a walk and order some pizza. But I'll be back after the break. Ooh, you're gonna have food as well. What did you order? <laughs> I gotta order pizza for myself and my mother. Because I'm going to guess my mother is hungry. I'm going to be hungry as well. <coughs> um, some burrito and taco stuff with cheese and beer. Oh, nice. Oh, beef, not beer. Still great. I had some tacos a couple days ago. Good shit. Have a great meal. I'm going to, yeah. I'm going to be right back. Going to order some food. Take my dog for a walk and I'll be back with some pizza, I hope. Right back. <laughs> 